Hello everyone and welcome to a Batman miniature game unboxing. This is everything at least relevant to Soldiers of Fortune released this month for the Soldiers of Fortune. There was also some additional characters uh, from their just like classic villain line, the silly villains like Kite Man previously. But what we have here is the specific ones for Soldiers of Fortune, which is Bane plus the old militia factions from 2nd edition. So we have the new Deathstroke called Deathstroke the Terminator. We have a couple of new mercenaries for Bane slash militia. We have Flashpoint Batman because in the semi-recent City of Bane, uh, Flashpoint Batman, who somehow managed to survive his reality getting undone, uh, is a baddie because reasons. And then we also have, which I'm going to start with, so we're going to go like that, is the objective cards and, and custom plots and such for Bane and the Militia. And I don't know about these ones, but the first posting of Deathstroke's card was pretty embarrassing in terms of everything that was wrong with it. Now, apparently it's been changed, so I'm looking forward to seeing if that's true. And get your votes in now about whether or not every piece that's supposed to be here is indeed here. I like that they've added something to keep the cards together. That's a, a good change. I am going to have to rip it to open it now, but I'm glad they did it. That's good. Oh, is he one of the old miniatures from the bird box? Bird is um, Bane's lieutenant. I think it is, you know. Don't know why he's first, but hey, there's one of the plot cards, Threat Control. Pause if you want to read specifically, there's a lot of cards here. Oh yeah, then we've got Rebirth Bane, so he's got an updated card now. Hopefully everything is correct. Veteran is sometimes the wrong rule. Nope, it's the right one this time. Good. Oh yeah, then we've got Dreadnought Op. So these are all the older models getting updated cards, which is nice. Schoolboy? That must be from Bird's Box as well. I'm going to put him to one side. Stealth Op. There's still some more cards. Character cards, that is. Secure Supplies, that's another plot card. Don't use plot cards here because they add a level of complexity that I don't feel comfortable with yet for 3rd edition, personally. Actually, yeah, that is that. Triangulation. The Arkham Knight on it, I think. There's the old Elite Op. Ah, and then we have some of the objective cards. Osito, so that's Bane's official one. There's a lot of text on there, come on now. Presumably, again, it's much like it was before, so if Bane has Osito, he is happy. If someone else has Osito, Bane is very, very angry. There's support the op, sharpshooter, so these are from the most recent Bane bat box. Bird, so I guess he's not getting an updated mini then. So he must be part of that. Yeah, and Clover is the last guy. So I think that's all the character cards, so these should just be all the objectives, which they did show off in their download page quite a while back because they wanted some feedback on them. So hopefully the English on these is fine. One cyber attack card, three invasion cards, and we'll see these on the table as soon as possible. Probably with older Bane and Militia miniatures, because these new ones are going to have to get painted up. But at least we'll see their custom objectives. Birds. I, I like saying it bird, not bird, because that's how everyone said it in Arkham Origins. Which looks like... Hang on, sorry, hang on, I just need to check. Yeah, that is a that's a screenshot from Arkham Origins. That is not art. Because that is how Batman looks in Arkham Origins. I don't know how close I can get this. That is a screenshot from a game. That is not art. Unless there was concept art of Batman punching Bird. That's the club where you fight him. Wow. Yeah, that is definitely the Roger Craig Smith Batman from Arkham Origins. <laughs> okay, whatever. Anyway, two Black Hop cards. I'll let you read them if you want to pause it. We've got a lot to get through here. Hard Point, which is Bane fighting Batman from Rebirth, because he's got his Rebirth costume. Uh, okay, one of, uh, two of them, sorry. Two Global Offensives, have more friendly models with a veteran trait than the enemies have suspect markers. That's a good one to score early. Free for All, two of these. That's when Bane is beating everyone up in the Asylum, I think. Ground War, three, uh, two of these. Three Search and Destroys. So a lot of cards to choose from, that's good. And then Domination, I think that's the City of Bane cover, isn't it? So yeah, these are up to date. Okay, so that is Bane's objective cards, including this specific one. There's no custom objective for like Scarecrow or the Arkham Knight or, you know, the other half of Soldiers of Fortune. Speaking of which, there's no upgraded cards for any of the Militia. It's all just Bane's side of things. So I guess they're just like, scraping the militia under the rug, I guess. And I'm not going to fully tidy these away, let's just put these together. I'll tidy them away properly in a minute. 
Uh, you know what, let's go for the big guy. We'll do the small ones after. The big guy with lots of customization options because he uses so many different weapons as I understand it. Well, sadly his packaging is not as good. That is a selection of his weapons. So he can have dual pistols, he can have a machine gun, he can have daggers, he can have his big sword like he does in the box, and I think he comes with a hooded and unhooded version. There is, and that's Robin's cape that billows in the wind next to him. So and he's standing on the T of the Teen Titans base, which I quite like. There's his lower half, I'm just checking to make sure it's all here. Big base, obviously, I know a lot of people don't like that, but that's what you get with him. Oh, his bow staff, that was his weapon I was forgetting. Bow staff, dual blades, etc. And depending on what you equip him with, he gets different stats. So there's his card, and they have fixed it. The first version of this they showed, the English made no sense, it had the wrong phase, but the gist of it is, if you kill the enemy with the highest rep, you remove the model that did it, and then you score the card. So although you lose one of your own models in the process, it's a massive four victory points. So that's what you take if he's equipped with automatic guns, if you have the dual blades, they're called hunting knives, if you take his bastard sword, which I actually thought was called Deathstroke, according to um, Gotham City Chronicles, the combat bow, which is his bow staff, and a modified assault rifle. I believe he can have one small weapon and one large weapon from memory. And there's the front of his card. His card has been available digitally for a while. But he is a powerhouse, house rather. He is a dangerous lad, which is just as well because he's 150 rep. But it looks like everything's here. Again, the flash is kind of dirty, it needs cleaned up. The big part of the base looks okay to me. And I think all the resin was there. Now again, if anything is wrong, and I notice it after finishing recording this video, I will put it in the comments. Just, you know, because sometimes I don't see it's something that's specifically wrong, or, you know, I'll sit and read the, the objective cards clearly and see if there's any errors. So these are two new henchmen for Soldier of Fortune, one of which is a lady who's juicing up on Venom in the process, that's why she's got one large arm and one small arm. And then a new, oh, she's Infiltrate Op. She's got a light carbine. Okay. It comes with a red dot attached. Three times she can fire four bullets, one blood each. Master of Stealth as well, interesting. Okay. Let's see here. We've got a pile of resin. Let me see here, that's one body. That's too buddy. You know, the, the resin is so dirty, I don't know if I want to show it up close, but we can show this. This is the, the large lady who's venom dosing. It looks clean enough. There is obviously some cleaning to do. You've got to snip some extra bits of flash, etc. Uh, oh my. <laughs> Look how thin those cables are to go on somewhere. And of course, no assembly instructions, so I'll have to guess, but everybody likes guessing games, don't they? That one I can put away, because it's easy. There we are. So, Flashpoint Batman, he also comes with options. He can be equipped with the Amazonian sword from Flashpoint, or he can just have his stereotypical dual pistols. And again, depending on which you pick to take with him, changes how he performs. I'm gonna model him with the pistols, I think, because that's just, that's his iconic look to me. Oh, it's the smaller size. I thought they weren't doing the smaller size anymore. There's his card again. He's also a powerhouse, pretty much. I don't know, where's that shadow coming from? <laughs> There, it was my elbow. 133 rep, free, oh no, sidekick, not free agent, my bad. And yeah, he's pretty powerful, so he comes as standard with the Amazon sword, so that's already on there. There's his back of his card, but you can also give him dual handguns, which changes his stats accordingly. For 300 additional funding, and he loses the sword. Now this is probably the miniature I was looking most forward to, so I hope this is all okay. He's standing on Bruce's grave, obviously a reference to he's from the universe where Bruce got shot, not him. So he is a very old man, Thomas Wayne. There's his body. Obviously I've got the other Flashpoint Batman mini they did, which I was happy with. This one is more dramatic on a bigger base, fancy looking. There's nothing wrong with the old one, but the old one was a specialist, so it's hard to get. But yeah, that's... That all seemed to be together. Why didn't they do the nice packaging that they did for the objective cards for everything? Like, just put
put something on top of this that it's held in place so that the resin doesn't get knocked around in transit. Still no sign of the Birds of Prey orders that they said were coming out like a month ago at this point. Like all lost orders were going to get fulfilled? Nope, still not. And they just keep on giving excuse after excuse, which is not good. So I don't suggest buying directly from them ever. But if you are interested in still playing the game, this was a little look at everything that you can get for Soldiers of Fortune. Slash, you know, Militia, Bane. And uh, you'll see them on the table soon enough. You'll see the objective deck first. But then down the line, these will all get done. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching. There'll be another unboxing tomorrow, all going well for a different game. So check that out when it is posted. Thanks for watching. Ta-da for now.